political systems in animals are, are very well documented and all social animals have some kind of political system. Um, but how they actually register their opinion is something that hasn't really been looked at very much at all. Uh, some research that the people have been doing in South Africa uh, looking at uh, African wild dogs, which are not dogs that have been allowed to roam and go wild, they're a, they're a breed of, of carnivore. And they discovered that when they, they're deciding who, whether or not to go hunting, they use a, a voting system. And the way that it works is that they have, um, they're lying down all having a little rest and then they'll, they'll get up and greet each other. They call it a greeting rally. And sometimes they'll go back to sleep again, they'll lie down and rest a bit more. Sometimes they'll go hunting. And they were trying to decide, work out how they were deciding whether to hunt or whether not to do. Um, and they found that if they got a certain number of animals to sneeze, then that would mean they were going to go hunting. And if they didn't get the requisite number of sneezes, then they would go back to sleep again. Um, and so I looked at um, some work that was done with baboons, which showed that they don't actually vote so much as just one, one member of the troop will decide, right, I'm going to go in this direction. Uh, to, to forage and they'll move off and other baboons may or may not follow them. And it seemed as though the baboons who moved with the most purpose were the ones who got others to follow them. Which is a bit kind of, uh, a bit like humans insofar as if someone's a very confident leader you'll go, oh yeah, I'll, I'll follow that guy. Uh, and if they're a bit wishy-washy then you, you might not do. So that's very similar. 